Hi soldiers, I'm Daisy, founder of Banish. We hope that this movement has helped you feel confident about your skin with or without acne. Want a chance to change the world and be featured in our Banish Acne Diaries? Click on the link below to be featured in bad. Enjoy the rest of this video. My name is Constanza and I'm a 16 year old girl from Venezuela and that's why you can see like you can hear like a little accent that I'm trying to hide <laughs> and I'm a Venezuelan Chilean girl like my parents are from Chile so I think that's why um, and because in my country in Venezuela um, every girl wants to be like a model like they stick to some stereotypes that a girl should be and like and my parents like they were different from the parents here in venezuela like they teach me a lot of other things like you should study you should like be happy with who you are first of all and later you can focus on what you can get better about yourself like or, all right like you can be whatever you want but you can also get better and make some progress also if you have a little happiness then make it more pursue your dreams and your hopes and everything you want like you have the opportunity so let's do it and make a, a step into that it was so difficult for me because in my life, I have never met someone with cystic acne, never, in person, like it is a thing coming from my family and like I have never seen someone with cyst on their face, like there were just little pimples like that and my friends will always tell me like, how do you do it? Like, how do you stay so positive or how do you like live with it without like caring about it and some of my best friends even told me like I couldn't live if I had your acne and that's something that really hit me so hard at a young age because my acne started like getting severe at nine years old and it turned into cystic when I turned uh, 11 I was I took also Accutane for three years and seven months without any interruption and that was such a really hard time for me and also like when you're just a child and you're into like getting into your teenage a teenager years and like every girl wants to look good like to have clear clear skin or to get into boys or, or girls and that was something that really hit me a lot because like I felt um, like I wasn't part of it like and nobody could understand me neither my parents or neither the environment I was in it wasn't easy at all, at all. like as you said here in Venezuela like every girl is in a model agency and that's something like I wasn't into it because first of all I had acne and Mm, no mother should have acne. Now we can see, like, Lisa Norcote, the creator of Free the Pimble, like, she's one of the first models that started that stereotype uh, shouldn't exist. Like, models should have clear skin and be perfect and all that. And I think it's the time to start those little changes, even though it's not getting, like, so fast is still getting into somewhere if we keep doing that or words or and or stories we could get to a better place yeah well as i said before i felt a little left out of groups of people in my school like in in my environment and because you know like 
people, even though they may have some acne, some little pimples, there's some kind of a stigma, like a nightmare, following their thoughts. Like, even though they have some pimples, they will absolutely think that that's the horrible thing that could happen to them. And I saw that a lot because people, like, they weren't taught, like, to see beyond their skin, beyond what they look like. And people like that haven't suffered like some kind of bullying or feeling something stronger, like a, that, not just a little rock that hits your rock, but like a big road, a rock that just hits your whole life and changes everything. And that's why I feel that people some, some people um, just don't appreciate what they have and that's why they always complain about those little things that happen in their life that like not even acne but like hey I'm just going to my work and I'm getting late because I, w I wake up early because I because my battery run out and and my alarm clock didn't didn't run, didn't run, and that's why like, I was always like feel like hey, but you have a job, you could still get to your job, and those kind of things that when people look like acne, like they will feel like that's the worst part in their life, and hey, there's there's there, that's just something that happens. That's normal, like. More than 80% of all humanity has or had acne in their life. So, like, you should appreciate what you have and the things you could um, get better. And something that happened to me last month, I would like to mention. And because maybe it happened to, some, to someone out there, like, I was in a job interview and for being a guide in a camp and I was rejected for having acne because the camp didn't want a guide for other children to have acne because par parents may say that that's not like clean like that person will infect their child and also I have also experienced that with children, like, they will ask me if what, hap what happened to my face or if it's if an infection, like, it's, if, is it contagious? Like, people really have told me that, that so many times that if they touch my face, they will get the big cyst I had on this course. And that's something that really hits me because even though I could explain to people that that doesn't happen, that like I wouldn't hurt someone for having acne, like it's it may sound ridiculous to some, but that's a reality. Like people really ask those questions. They don't get in their minds that that's a reality and that happens to people, and it it is way more often than we, than we think. Like, that bullying every day, at every moment, at every second in our life, like, hey, it maybe can be a common an hour ago, but maybe tomorrow and the day after, the, after that, and maybe 10 times a day, and people won't notice that. Like, it's a constant pain that you're willing to get through it just to be happy. I will have I will like to say to her that not everything that happens to you will define you. Like all the procedures that you went through won't define who you are. Like she went for more than two hundred pills once every single week and that all the pain she went through, like everything has a payoff like you'll learn from from it and 
from people that didn't understand you or see more beyond you, like. Like, and <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, um, you can see like, um, what everything will turn out. Like, everything will get better, and everything like, everything will be happy, more happy than you are. You were well. <laughs> Yeah, something I really love about you guys is that you want to share more about just the Banish story. Like, you want to share the people who will build that, the people that are into all the Banish journey. And I think that's so amazing to do as a skincare brand because most skincare brands just want to show their models and pay like really big influencers on the internet to use their products but you guys like you decided to search for your own customers and to ask and to ask them to uh, their stories and just tell them hey we want you because you are enough because you have a story and we want to hear it and i think that's so important in social media to search for real people not just influencers or people with good cameras and people that are photogenic but just search for normal people here like next door guy or or next door mom or dad like i think that's so important to do like to share confidence look like and I think it's important to search for like not influencers on the internet to talk about their problems because not not all people are like that not all people uh, like to show themselves or to talk or to say like everything out loud on the internet and we need to search for those kind of people like the people we see on the street or on the subway those are like a more closer look to our souls like who we really are because nobody on the internet it's just totally has their show because we also get by day, bad days and we also get bad comments and we also have our own problems and i think it's so amazing to show that to show that everything that everyone um, can get acne and also has a story and a voice and you guys are giving it up um, um, uh, you guys are absolutely rocking it i got the banish starter kit 2.0 i get the pumpkin inside mask which is my fat like i watch your live and you mentioned that you even need it i was tempted but i didn't do it and I also get the um, vitamin C beauty elixir. Elixir, I use it every day. Like, it's my fast toner. Like, it's so good to your skin. Like, because my skin is really sensitive to everything. Like, to cold or to the sunlight. And I really like put it on every day because my hyperpigmentation just fades like magic and. I don't know, I don't know, like, it looks like magic, but I know what it is, like, it has a lot of work behind it. <laughs> and absolutely, you know, the Vanisher 2.0, that's the most amazing thing you have created. It just helped me a lot with my scores because, you know, how painful a lot of treatments and that they aren't cheap at all and i have seen other acne accounts that went to a laser treatment and it costed them like six thousand dollars one session and i'm like how why and i think that a band the vanisher 2.0 just works perfectly and you can see it 
and it's not so painful and it's way more cheaper and like people just like want to spend like a lot of money because they think those treatments are worth it but you can get something safer and healthy for you that wouldn't create much damage to your skin because I went through that when I did all those peelings like they burned literally my skin it was so painful for me and just seeing something that helps me the same way you know like a film like uh, with my cornelian and it's so like amazing and also because and something when i when i stopped acting when i was 15 years old and i felt like hey what am i going to do with my scars like uh, if i get more acne they will get worse and worse and worse and worse it hurts a lot like I didn't care much about my appearance, but in the pain, like I went through, like I didn't want to want uh, to go again to those sessions of peelings and peels. It was so painful for me, and like I get like some sort of a trauma from a childhood. Like some kids are scared of a monster in, in, in behind their bed, but I'm scared of going to the arms like every single week and finding something that it's working for you and it doesn't create that pain you went through it's such an amazing like i feel more relaxed and I'm happier to have something that it's working for me i'm feeling good with it and it's just amazing like it's difficult for me to describe the feeling well obviously like i didn't expect like hey yes ace a cream will save my life like it will heal my skin completely like i could not even be that like it's five months so i can expect a cream and um, to work like that but i did like and i knew that it will work so i was really consistent in all my treatments and it was so i was so amazed after like I will I will talk with my experience like after the second session with the Vanisher 2.0 like I saw results literally I saw results I took photos after my first session and I've been taking photos after before and after every session and like I've seen it I feel it so I know it's something that doesn't happen overnight and neither because like i have a really severe acne that live left me with severe really severe scars so i knew that if i keep having acne i will keep having a uh, scores or um, more hyperpigmentation and all that but it just like reduces all of that like i've seen that with vanish because you can see i i've been using vanish for almost a ninth month like I, I i i am in the eighth month you know that i'm still having acting like it's nothing like a because every skin is different i know that not a cream or something like that will absolutely heal my acne because my acne is really severe and so but it really um made me feel better because a lot of the itching I had for having this course and the hyperpigmentation, like I haven't felt any itching in like two months. And I'm like, why? How, how that did that? And like, I will, I will always tell my mom, like, mom, my face hurts a lot. Like it's itchy. Like, I don't know what to do. And we have always tried like, every treatment and it got worse you know because other products have parabens and I'm, my skin is really sensitive to all alcohol like i can put anything with alcohol on my face and here in venezuela you know that there's there there isn't a lot of products well in latin america that doesn't have parabens on a lot because there isn't a lot of products you can choose in the stores and I was like 
so happy to have found something that didn't have that and that it worked for me really because I haven't felt any pain that I was feeling for years and years and years because maybe some people will like hey hey my pimple did disappear but for me like a extremely pain that I was feeling every day disappear and I'm so grateful for that like you should be so grateful for the little changes you see in yourself and maybe it can be also because I'm being more positive about, about who I am and what I want to be and also man managing my account but I feel like everything around me is also helping me a lot and what I'm using is also helping me out a lot and I really grateful for like you guys get come back to me like you literally managed to change my skincare game you guys don't want to hide acne you want to embrace it and to show it that some brands just want to hey let's just disappear acne you can disappear acne with this product and they show models with acne and it's like like they don't want to use the reality don't want to use people's stories and that's a content that's it's so valuable and that's it's so important to share and you guys are already doing it so that's you know, something that i really love something that I, i think i talked about it before like Um, even though I'm using products for minimizing my acne and like um, getting myself to feel better, like I'm also feeling happier by using them because I feel like there's something behind it that it's supporting me because even though like, yeah, for some people may sound like stupid, like, hey, but you're using just a cream, like it's not just a cream, it's like something that's bringing me joy to use because the message that the company has is so it when i see something about you in the of, of like the memes on the account like my like something that my boyfriend do, does is that he always like send the ends to me with all your memes and that's really like it really shows how happy that product makes me like be because it's not something like hey i want to get rid of acne or i don't want to have acne anymore like it's more like i feel happy to trade in my acne and my scars even though um, i'm still having them or i will not have them in like 10 years because it's not about the results or anything like that like i feel like like trying a skincare brand it's more like the journey you have with it like i feel so empowered that by just using a product and that's something that really haven't happened to me before and like i'm telling you this by heart it's something that doesn't happen with a lot of brands and i think it's so important to like get attention to that It was so beautiful to talk with you and I wasn't expected to be like that relaxing and that comfortable, um, that comfortable, comfortable. I don't know, I wasn't expecting anything like that. Like I was expecting like a more serious uh, interview because you know, you guys are a brand and it's not just like one people talking to another, but it is. Like, I'm talking to you, just a normal guy from California, and it feels like that, like, it feels like I have known you for forever. And I think it's something, like, I wasn't expecting it at all, but I get it. Like, and I know, I don't know, it's just so beautiful, this interview was so beautiful, I felt really good with myself, and thank you for it.
Hey soldiers, it's Daisy, founder of Banish. Did you like this video? Please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe to our channel to be featured of any future Banish acne diaries and skin positivity comment. Thank you and don't forget, Banish, we got your back. Bye.